There sure are a lot of enemies around here. The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. <laughs> Fits the Abyss Order's style. Yeah, let's go! I'm... not going any further. Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fluffy animals? It has nothing to do with wolves. It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't desire any interaction with him. Besides, you're the one people like. I'm less likable. There's nothing special about gods anyway. It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. Don't go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down. Even if the god in question is your sworn enemy. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. Does Dane hate the Seven or is he protecting them? <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears, I will tell you one final fact. Huh? What fact? The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Well, enough chit-chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Afterward, let's meet at the entrance to Wolvendom. Up, oh, there he goes. What a strange man. Yeah, that's true. You also keep your guard up against unfamiliar gods. At the Rite of Dissension in Lyre, your decision was very similar to what Dane would do. <sighs> Not the easiest situation. Honorary Knight, Paimon, what are you two doing here? Oh, Master Jean! So glad we found you! Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help! Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to send out some knights to fight back. I just scouted out all of Wolvendom, but I did not see you. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas. But the Abyss Order and Boreas... What is the connection between them? They just like to cause trouble. Ah, do they really need a reason? The Abyss Order already went after Dvalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archon's buddies. Hmm... That is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, I will handle the situation. Honorary Knight, please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. This god's spirit... He does not often see people. But I hear that you have met him before. Maybe it is best that you are also the one to meet him this time. Okay, be careful. Thank you for your help, Honorary Knight of Favonius. Welcome here! <laughs> so, the wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise wild pups now. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. Lies. Lies. What the heck is this ceremony? He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh no, is this the same thing they did? 
it to corrupt a fallen's mind? Wolves never surrender. But this can't go on. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. This shall rush. The ceremony was interrupted. How fortunate for you. How does an old spirit have such determined will? No matter. This is but a small, unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. It disappeared again! Thank you. You came. Just in time. Human Lupacol. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider, not respect trial rules. I too didn't see the trap. Wait! So you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. You smelled danger and came here? No, we heard about the danger. Paimon's nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about, too. Uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm. By the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller, right? Yes, it could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield visions. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know, but did we help? Yes, you were a big help! We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell more danger. Bigger danger. You two also be careful. Well, that was some good intel. Quick, let's go tell Dane. <laughs> Did you see Master? 
Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. Long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Ah, Paimon gets it! So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom! After it was damaged in the fight with the Wolf of the North, it must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there! Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom! It would fire a ton of missiles at them, until one day it finally broke down for good, and the fireballs stopped raining from the sky. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before, so they came to interpret it as the Tyrant's Final Fury! It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. Hmm, what do you mean? Huh? You mean... Oh, Paimon remembers too! We saw that abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. Again, again, again. You better love it.